How's that sound? Sounds good. <laughs> All right. So thanks for joining me. Um, I was going to say, you know, let, let us know who you are, what your name is, but I think it comes up on the screen. So I don't think there's, there's much of a need for that. But I, <clears throat> I just wanted to sort of throw it in here at the start that, you know, this is kind of an idea I had the other day that I was saying, why aren't I, you know, I'm, I'm seeing people on Instagram trying to find redheads across the world that I can connect with and start to have conversations with um, through, through stories. But I said, I, I have a Zoom account. Why don't I just go ahead and start Zooming people and going, let's just, we, have, we all have time. We're all sitting around in our houses in isolation in this wonderful COVID-19 new era. And so I thought, why don't we just do this? And so, uh, so we connected. And uh, I'm super stoked that we get a chance to, to do this, the first one. So congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I'm honored. Yeah. Um, so tell us about your, tell me about yourself. Like, who are you? Where you come from? Okay. I'm happy to. Um, yeah. My name's Melissa. Uh, on Instagram and other places, you can find me as Miss Red Vegan. Mm -hmm. um, I have a lot of fun on there. I um, I'm 39. I um, grew up in southern New Hampshire, but I now live right outside Worcester in a town called Shrewsbury, uh, Massachusetts. Uh, <laughs> for people who don't know, <laughs> and um, I work at an art museum. Although I've been home for the last two and a half weeks, it's of been really, uh, and I just love it. Um, I brought along a picture just so people could see that I am, in fact, a genuine redhead. Yes. That's me with my um, aunt from when I was a little girl. <laughs> you are authentic. I love that. Very important. Very important. You know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, wannabes out there. <laughs> that's right. And maybe that's a good thing. Or is it a bad thing? I don't know. I mean, I, I just find it interesting that there are a lot of people who want to have red hair, but we might dive into that shortly. So, you know, so what are this? I've been on your Instagram account and I've been, I've been looking all through it and there's a common thread I see. The common thread I see is super fun. So you mentioned that it's Miss Red Vegan. So first I want to talk to you about the vegan aspect, because as you may or may not know, um, my, my wife and I and, mo and our kids for the most part, we're all vegan as well. And so it's hard for my kids to say that they're vegan only because we kind of control what they eat, but we, but we don't, we just don't eat meat in the house. If they eat it outside of the house, that's one thing. But, uh, so that kind of intrigued me when I saw that, uh, on your, on your post. And, and so tell me about that. Okay. Um, it's been almost 10 years that, since I've um, gone vegan, it started with just learning about factory farms and the health, um, problems associated with that. And I fell into this rabbit hole of reading and watching documentaries and learning about the horrible conditions. Um, it started for health reasons and then quickly made its way to being about the animals, which I think is pretty common. Mm -hmm. um, and it's been wonderful. I, you know, love it. Um, I, <laughs> I think the world is going vegan. Uh, I think this uh, virus shows the importance of it sure. and um, it's getting easier and more fun to be vegan all the time and um, yeah I don't know it's a big part of my life yeah and and you play with that in your Instagram account too right like that's that's part of your so I see some food you know some food images in there as well that are kind of sprinkled through there so you use that you know as your expression too for for the lifestyle that you have I'm assuming Absolutely. I yeah. think um, some people, I mean, it's a lot different now. It's bet a lot better now um, with more celebrities and athletes going vegan. Right. But I, I think um, there's still a lot of people ha who have a, a preconceived notion of what a vegan looks like. And um, so it's important to me to show how I am and who I am, because I don't think I fit the typical, um, I don't know, what stereotypes people might have of a vegan so it's I think that's important I think everyone needs to show that we're just normal people who just um you know maybe put a little bit more thought and uh, a little bit more uh attention into animal rights and uh stuff like that yeah yeah very cool so I want to get right to it too since I now I have a bit of your background um red hair you know uh we have a company authentic ginger clothing um, started to expose the rarity and the uniqueness of being a redhead and also to 
to show our kids and, and as they grow up to show them that uh, that they need to be, they, you know, they should be original. They should be empowered in, on their own rights and, and their own merits, uh, hair color or not, you know, and, and it's not so bad here in Canada with, with the stigma that, that is attached to a lot of places overseas. Um, but as I throw it back to you, like, how, how has this sort of, uh, you know, impacted your life? You know, well, how has it impacted your life over the years? Going back to that picture you just showed us too. I mean, yes. You know. Yes, as you can see in this picture, I grew up when I was young, I had fire engine red hair. It started out bright, the brightest red possible and has uh, calmed itself down <laughs> <laughs> over time as yeah. does, uh, I think a lot of people's hair color kind of does that as you get a little older. Right. Um, but growing up as a redhead really shaped my personality. Um, I'm a definite extrovert these days, but when I was a kid, I was very, very shy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was because of all the attention. Um, walking around as a little girl with bright red hair, everybody wanted to comment on it. I would go to the grocery store with my mom and people would come up and touch my hair and ask about it. and. Um, it was so bizarre, like people asking for clippings to bring to their hairdresser, like awesome. bizarre comments. And uh, neither of my parents have red hair, so um, people would always have questions. It was, um, it was actually my grandmother has red hair, and I, I, we're the only two in our entire extended wow. family. Um, so I just happened to luck out <laughs> in the gene pool. Um, and uh, luckily, I always um, thought my grandmother was beautiful and uh, incredible. And um, uh, so I always loved having red hair and being a little different, uh, even though the attention was tough when I was really shy when I was young. Um, but I think it helped me grow, grow out of that shyness as I grew up and embrace it. And um, I know that there are stories of people who have struggled growing up with red hair, and I'm I'm blessed that I didn't particularly. Cool. Um, there are there were some you know kids you know in high school or whatever which would make comments, and uh, still today you'll hear sayings like "redheaded stepchild" or something like that, <laughs> and it, which are really obnoxious. Um, yeah. But overall, it's been a really great experience for me, and something that I've embraced and I love, and I. Um, I think we're, you know, it's cool that we're unique and rare and different and, um, I love it. And I hope that all the little redheads throughout the world love it as much as I do. <laughs> That's great. And you, and you show that, uh, and present that in your Instagram account based on what I've seen. I mean, it's, you know, it's, I mean, obviously it's red there and you know, the name of your, so how did you come up with the name of your account? by the way. And I know we're talking about your yeah. Instagram account. That's not really the, the, the whole thing, but I do want people to know what your Instagram, Instagram account is, but how'd you come up with that name? Um, so I used to just have a plain boring uh, name that was like a typical like first initial and like last name yeah. on my account. And one day I was like, I want people to know right when they see my name, what I am, like every, you know, what they need to know about me. Right. And um, it came about the time where I decided I was going to put more time and effort into my Instagram and really try to get, um, you know, work on it more. Right. And so I thought about it. And uh, Red is who I am. My nickname in college was Red or Big Red. Um, but it's also my favorite color. I love the color red. And um, so... And then vegan, I wanted people to know that right yeah. off. And uh, I don't know, it was just kind of a no brainer. Miss Red Vegan, that's who yeah, I am. Yeah. That's awesome. How long ago did you start it? Uh, well, I started my Instagram like a long time ago, uh, maybe eight years ago. Wow. Um, but I didn't really use it until a couple years ago, um, okay. like really, really work on it until maybe two years ago. I right. started really focusing in, and that's probably around when I changed my name and uh, started being more um, thoughtful on how yeah. I use it. Yeah, and, and what is the, you know, when you're, when you're doing your thing on Instagram or in, in life, I mean, I'm assuming you're, you're out all the time, you're snapping photos left, right, and center. Are you thinking about that, 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 the, that account that you're going to put these on, or is this just natural comes to you when you're out and doing your thing? Because, 
like I said, it's a fun account, right? There's, there's a lot of imagery there. There's a lot of colors and it makes sense. Yeah. Um, I, I do try to think about it, but I also, um, it's more important for me just to live my life. Uh, so yeah, I think it's just naturally who I am. I, I, it's very important for me not to, um, have a pretense online, not to be someone I'm not, not to put an image out that is too perfect or too um, prepared or planned. It's important to me that people see me for myself. And um, I do, every Monday, I do uh, a live video answering people's questions and uh, just showing people who I am because I, I, it bothers me the idea of of people putting out their perfection online right. um, you know it sets up an unrealistic expectation and um, perfection's not beautiful to me it's uh, boring and uh, you know not interesting and wow. so it's important for me to be for people to see that I'm you know goofy and trip over my words and <laughs> uh, say uh, too much and play with my hair too much and uh, yeah um, you know, because I, I don't know, more than just what they would see in like my static pictures, which are, you know, filtered and good lighting and all that. Yeah, stuff. yeah, <laughs> exactly. And, you know, you made up, you brought up a good point, like, you know, perfection. And, you know, one of the things that one of the things that I've researched over the last several years when we started, you know, when I started this company was, you know, I really wanted to understand the redhead culture. And, uh, and one of the things that keeps coming up in, in all the research that I've done is, you know, people are, are there's a lot of people out there that, that are still having a hard time with, with you know, have, being a redhead, uh, whether being made fun of or whatnot. And, you know, we're, we're trying to create, you know, a platform or a community of inspiration um, for fellow redheads globally, not, not just in a certain area. I mean, redheads are all over the world. And uh, to, to say that, you know, perfection is not fun or it's not, um, it's not authentic, you're absolutely right. And that's a great message that, that comes across from you um, that other redheads who are watching this or anybody for that matter can sort of get grasp that and go, wow, that's, that's, that really means something. So uh, thank you for that. That's, that was a, that's a really good, really good comment. And, and uh, it's one of the things that we're striving for. I have a question for you. Um, We've only known each other for a day, <laughs> so so your first your first response or your first thought about who is this guy sending me a message from this crazy company? What were your thoughts? Uh, honestly, I was excited. Uh, <laughs> um, authentic ginger, who's like a vegan. Uh, I was like, uh, we're obviously going to be best friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it that's what it, and that's what it was for me so it's like what this is crazy i can't wait to tell our story <laughs> yeah. so no that that's good i mean you, you never know i mean you know it, this is something so new for us that that um you know i i just wanted to shoot out there and go well, let's let's just see if it's if something happens you know and and certainly you know there's been response and there's been great response um since i started putting some messages out there and you know, I'm equally as excited to to find out who these people are uh, behind you know the, the the social media. Like, let's 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 have a real conversation on who you are and what you represent and what you want people to see you as. And you know, for the redheads out there that are that are going to watch this, and and hopefully there'll be lots and tons over the next little while. Um, what can they draw from this conversation? I mean you know, I'm drawing stuff from this conversation already. I'm on, and now I'm on the other side of the camera. So I can only imagine what others are going to draw from. So, you know, I really appreciate that. And um, secondly, I appreciate your time uh, that you're giving to me and to us here at Authentic Ginger. Uh, I'm surprised my kids haven't walked in the door yet because that usually happens on these Zoom calls lately as I'm sitting in their room. So it's, it's, it's their right to come into their room uh, and check out what their dad is doing on Zoom. But uh, so, yeah, so I really appreciate it. Um, if you could just stay on the line for a quick second or on this video, I'll, I'm just going to halt the uh, recording here and, uh, and close out. But anything, anything else you wanted to say maybe to, to anyone who's watching that, you know, maybe could draw off even more from you? Yeah, I would love to say um, the beauty of social media is that it connects us all from all over. And um, so I would love to encourage anyone who 
does feel left out or alone as a redhead. Um, maybe you're in a country where you're, you know, you're not represented. Maybe you're in a family where you feel like you're the one that's left out. Um, reach out to me. I'd be happy to chat with you and encourage you and give you my support um, because, you know, we're all in this together. And, uh, and I, I, it would just break my heart to think that anyone doesn't feel special as a redhead. So. Awesome. Awesome. And where can people reach out to you? What's the, what's the best method? Uh, the best method is right. Um, so through Instagram, since <laughs> I'm an addict, um, Miss Red Vegan, uh, just hop right into my direct messages, my DMs, and I answer everybody and talk to everybody. So I'd be happy to hear from you. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Melissa. And um, yeah, I can't wait to talk to you again. This is great. Thank you. Okay.